Alright folks, I know you can't see nothing because of the damn sun, neither can I. I can't see shit. Well, I just backed up into the shade a little bit. Anyway, I'm out here trying to catch a damn fish today. I noticed the dragonflies are going stupid, so uh, that's usually good fishing. And my cup is stuck. I want to show you what I've done to keep the freaking flies out of my drink. I put a bag over it and I stuck a straw through it, so now I'm drinking whiskey through a straw. That's a good name for a song, ain't it? It's probably already one called that, but if not, I guarantee it's in some lyrics somewhere. I'm turning the camera off. I don't mean to blind you, but I'll get back with you when I catch one. Can y'all see that bait over there? I, I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably not. It's right there. Man, that bass jumped right there. Fishing on the wrong. I throw over there and they're hitting over there. That's how my life goes. Hit and miss, hit and miss. It's just like that. Folks, seeing as these dragonflies are hitting the top and the bass are coming up after them, I'm using this little top cricket. Get this little top. It floats on top and I just pop it. It's about the size of a dragonfly, so I'm hoping it'll work. And uh, you'll see it when it does, if it does. There ought to be one where I landed. Of course, you know how it goes for me. Nope, nothing there. Got the camera going. Should have turned the camera off before I cast. I'll be back. Folks, I'm gonna try to paddle and push my way right through there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do it. I haven't fished back here in a while. I'm trying to go right across this crooked grass. back here. Stop. Now the best thing to do is stop before we disturb everything. I'll be back. Folks, I'm in a good spot. I'm going to start the camera just in case. And of course nothing. The freaking wind's blowing too much. I can't even cast in the right direction. Well, I try to cast, it just freaking goes somewhere else because the wind here doesn't go one direction. It goes all in fucking circles and everywhere fucking else. It's crazy. There he is. There he is. Finally, with the camera moving. With the camera going, I got one. Small one. He didn't fight much. He didn't fight much at all. He's not going to fight until I get my thumb in his mouth with them hooks. That's, that's what he's going to do. Yeah, I know it. Got your ass. Shit. He ain't nothing. Let me get the pliers. You see him? tongue. Yep, now it's in your throat. <laughs> Just pushed it down further. <sighs> there we go, folks. That's what we get today so far. Send him home. Unbelievable, I caught one on camera. Oh, I'm in a good area, so I'm going to start the camera again. See what happens. I'm, I 
I'm not casting quite as far as I'd like to. I'm not, I'm not getting as close to the bank or the grass as I'd want to. I must have some damn twisted or bent lines. That was a good cast. But there's nothing there. Oh yeah, there is. There's something there. <laughs> I think I scared him. I scared him. And now I caught a bunch of grab nab bull crap. Some sticks and shit. Some growth. Settle down, those roads are 35. Whoa, I just landed right next to one. Turn around and come back and get it. Turn around and come back and get it. Come on. Turn around and come back and get it. He's not going to get it. He's scared. Scared him. I just landed right on top of him. Landed right on top of him. If you think it's a good spot, throw to the left or the right. <laughs> Obviously, you land right on top of him. That's not good. It's taking too long. Watch well, right back there behind me. first one. He ain't like it no more. I got him. A little bass. A little bass. I'm on the beetle spin now. There's another hot dog fish. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's all about, you know, just catching and throwing them back. Having a good time out here relaxing. Listening to the birds chirp and scream and holler and listening to people blow their leaves, which I don't really care for. But you gotta do it sometime. Just relaxing, drinking whiskey. Let's try that again in the same area. He followed it and hit it a couple times. I let it drop and give him a chance to catch up to it. Just got a white beetle spin. One eighth, I believe this is a one eighth. It's the small, smallest one I can find. Smallest one I can buy. They like it. All different size fish like it. Catch little bluegills and little bass and big bluegills and big bass and every kind of fish likes it you know not every kind but those two at least yeah and I'm sure that uh, I've caught gargoyle before stump knocker some people call it war mouth something like that Anyhow, it's just a lazy Sunday afternoon, folks. When I'm done here, I'm going to go and uh, light the grill and throw a London broil on it. How about that? Y'all want to see a little bit of that? All right, I'll throw that in there. I'll throw, I'll, throw, I'll throw some of that into this video at the end. But for now, let's try to catch a fish. For whoever that was that commented in the last video about asking how I was happy, uh, last time I talked to him, about a week or two ago, he was doing fine. He's uh, got plenty of work, he's painting, doing different things, uh, you know, just what he does. He does different things, whatever you need him to do. If you need him to burn your yard down, <laughs> he'll do that. <laughs> he don't push a lawnmower, he just lights it on fire. But uh, he's doing good. Before long, I'll get up there to see him and uh, his wife and his daughter, and. I'll bring y'all with me and we'll, we'll say hello to them. It's been a long time I, I ain't seen them. I need to get up there and see them. Oh, I got, oh, I had another one. Doggone it. 
Let's give it another try. I'll be able to shut up and start fishing. Oh, yes. Nice big one. Nice big bluegill. He hit it right at the last damn minute, too. Thought it was a bass he hit it so damn hard. We'll get him off of here, folks. I'll show him to you. He quit moving too fast. I know he's still got some in him. There's something wrong with him. He quit moving too quick. There we go. What do you think about that? That's a nice, clean-looking bluegill. Hell yeah. Going back. Nice one. The wind's just pushing me around the lake now. <laughs> I'm having to reel a little bit faster because my boat is going towards my bait as I'm reeling it in. It's all right. You got to adjust for things like that. And you better look out for them trees. Them tree branches above you. And pick up the trash. If your boat passes any fucking trash, pick it up. That's what I do. I got a bottle. There's a freaking bottle behind me. I don't know, it's probably a 32 ounce because they don't sell 40s here. But it's a bottle. It's a big bottle. Ain't got no label on it. It's been out here a while. You can tell. When that sucker came and uh, sprayed the lake with uh, that poison to kill the grass, it released a lot of garbage that's been stuck up in that grass for years. So there's going to be a bunch of trash appearing in the lake. About to hit a fence, folks. The wind's pushing me. Yes, a fence goes out into the lake. So I guess they had had a dog at one time and they didn't want the dog going to the next yard. Whatever. Yeah. Anyhow, let's fish. Folks, I'm down here around where something's probably going to hit it. So I'm just going to leave the camera go. Let's see what happens. The wind's pushing me. I'm reeling faster than normal. It's getting late. I'm hungry. I got a buzz. The fish are probably hungry. Yeah. I'm leaning to the right. No, not to fart. Just because I'm leaning to the right. I don't know why. I guess because I'm fishing to the right. Here comes somebody with a loud freaking motorcycle. Kind of disturbs the peace a little bit. You know, when you're out here in a beautiful setting like this and you're trying to relax and there's a vehicle that comes down the road and he, he doesn't have any pipes, no mufflers or nothing. Yeah, whatever. You have to uh, be considerate and respectful of other people. Oh, I just got a hit. You have to be respectful and considerate of other people. That's why I ain't going to say any more about it because I have to have respect for him also. He has to share this planet with me. But uh, I wish he'd come out here and try to fish one day and I'd freaking get my pots and pans and bang them together real loud and disturb his fucking peace. <laughs> I have nothing against motorcycles at all. Y'all don't get me wrong. I have nothing against loud pipes. I just like to be able to freaking relax every once in a while. Yeah, and I know you people going to say, well, then go your ass out in the country. And, well, you're right. You're right about that. Just leave from the where there ain't no roads or nothing. And you'll find peace. You'll find your quiet. Get away from the freaking city. You know, 
I can't blame him, and I don't. I don't blame him. It's just my fault that uh, I'm where I'm at. But it's a comfortable place to fish when you've been drinking. You don't want to drive. All I got to do is pull up to my backyard in this canoe and uh, walk into my house. It's safe, you know. And I do love to drink. That's one of the good things about living here on this lake and fishing here on this lake. So I guess I'll shut up and put up with the damn loud freaking muffler pipes. Uh, hey folks, while I'm sitting here bullshitting about motorcycles, y'all check this out. You know it's get, starting to get cool. I don't know what it is where you're at. It may be fucking snowing already, but it's starting to get cool here. And it's motorcycle season where I'm at. It's probably motorcycle season where you're at. Uh, every time it starts to get a little bit cool, you know, it ain't too hot, it ain't too cold. Motorcycles come out when it's nice, you know, nice weather, spring and fall, it's motorcycle season. Y'all take extra precaution and watch out for them folks on their motorcycles, okay? Uh, I have loved ones that are on motorcycles, and pro y'all probably do too. If you don't, please take precaution and look twice and uh, save a life. You know, please don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't run over none of my, or don't pull out in front of any of my friends or my family or any of your own or anybody, you know, your friends, your friends and your friend's family even have, uh, people out there on bikes. Just take extra precautions and, uh, you know, kids are back to school, so they're going to be at the bus stop and here comes Halloween. Yeah, look out for them suckers, too. Trick or treat. Here they come. Yeah. Good Lord. I'm glad they're back to school. God. I'll tell you what. I see people acting like they're not doing nothing, but they're watching me. So I'm going to shut up for a minute and just fish. Turn the camera off while he's watching me or what? <laughs> or should I just let it go? Just let it go. Just let it go. I can always erase this shit later. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody hiding behind the fence. He's looking totally the other direction. He probably told that guy he's talking to himself. <laughs> I ain't catching shit. Yep. There we go, right there by that damn thing. Ooh, something's coming after it. Something just came. Oh, he missed it, he's a little late. A little bit late. Let's try it again. Something came off the bank and shot out towards where my bait was coming by. I just paddle over there and tell him I ain't really fucking talking to myself. I ought to hide the camera and paddle over there and start talking fucking bullshit. Hide the camera and keep it going? <laughs> no, maybe not. Well, folks, look at this fucking shit right here. Let me zoom in on it for you. Somebody has nailed some kind of a clip to the side of the fucking dock here with some string hooked to it. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's see what's on the other end of that string. Ah, an empty hook. Is that somebody's freaking sad attempt at a trout line? Yeah, it didn't work, buddy. That shit didn't work. Circle hook and all. You probably caught a fish, but the turtles probably ate it, or the alligator ate it. Actually, the turtles probably ate it. 
Yeah, you shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be fucking around like this out here. Whoever it was that did that, most likely also fucking probably done this. Throw that in the water. Yeah. Those are cigarette butts. One, two, three, four. You see four freaking cigarette butts right there. That's probably all you see. There were probably more than that. Look right down there, folks. I believe the Easter Bunny came way early this year. It ain't even Halloween, and the Easter Bunny done came by, and he dropped a damn egg and cracked part of it. Yeah. I'm going to start the grill and get some cooking going on. Actually, that does look like a piece of a broken damn egg. Yeller. He, he colored it yellow or something like that. Anyhow, let's get some damn... Let's get some heat going. Where we at? We ain't nowhere here near hot enough yet. Maybe I could just leave it like that and you can see. I hope so, because I'm going to pull the meat out. Put it on there. This is a big old chunk of London broil. Let's set it on there. know if y'all can see that smoke rising out of there but I got me a couple of damn pieces of mesquite uh, or hickory down there I don't know which one I didn't look at the bag I just grabbed some wood I know it's not pecan because it's too damn light but I put some damn smoke down there and I got it on fire like see it's on fire I, and I turned I blew it out and put my meat over it I'm gonna let that shit get some smoke flavor for about 10 or 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna put the fire back on and get some heat going. And in the meantime, while that cooks, I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy the rest of my whiskey. Well, I still have plenty in the house, but you know what I mean. The rest of what's in my glass. Cheers, folks. I hope y'all had a good Monday. This was recorded on Sunday, but it might as well be a Monday because I ain't got no schedule. This is the life I live. Don't hate. Create. That's what I do. I create. I create videos for you people to enjoy. What the heck's that damn box coming around my head? This is like... There must be some kind of setting on my camera that I don't know about. Because now there's an orange box that keeps, there's like a square, I mean, I'm the man in the box. Yeah, now it's gone. Oh, there it goes, it's come back. When I smile, it goes away. <laughs> Folks, I hope y'all enjoyed this fucking stupid ass video. Uh, I sure did, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. That's for damn sure. I don't know what this orange box is. I got to go in my settings and check that out. Something happened to myself. I didn't screw my camera and messed around and got some focusing things going because I had some problems with some focus, autofocus. I had a, a little problem with autofocus. Yeah, and some uh, strobe lights. Actually, I might as well go ahead and just tell you. I had, had a problem with uh, infrared strobe lights affecting my autofocus which was uh, screwing up my recording in low light because I was trying to record some stuff in low light but I did accomplish what I was trying to record and y'all ain't gonna see that not yet anyway it's top secret some of that you know them eyeglass them, remember them sunglasses that make you invisible Click here and you can see them sunglasses that make you invisible. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and just make that the end of this video so I can concentrate on cooking and eating and then sleeping. So uh, y'all concentrate on clicking the like button and the comments below. Thanks. Bye.